I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Jonathan Hagmeyer. Hey, Jonathan here is running the World Series of Board Gaming. This is the second year, 2023. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the, our blog. We're going to be showing you all kinds of stuff. So what, can, what are you expecting to see here? You know, I'm expecting, uh, uh, well, we've, we've uh, doubled our, our numbers this year. So I think there's going to be the competitions rate rising. Uh, been a lot of qualifiers. So we expect uh, a lot of people are very excited. Uh, and we have uh, 15 countries represented this year. We have uh, the 48 states and um, uh, Canada and uh, all the provinces and states uh, in Mexico and Canada. So we have, we have just this whole wide variety of people. So we expect a, a lot of fun, a lot of competition, and uh, we can't wait to see who, who, who wins the ring and then who, who wins the, br uh, the bracelet. So we're pretty excited. Well, let's see what happens. Here we go. So here we're looking at registration. We got some folks looking around. There's some signups over there. And then over here, of course, we've got what I would imagine would be one of the main attractions. This is the rings for the winners. <laughs> that one's way better. That, those ones are old. One in the hand is better than two in the, right? in the case. Here we go. Here's all the rings. Ooh. Here we've got the schedules for the outer ring events that folks can sign up for. So you can sign up here. And they've got all the signups right here. Keeps on going that way. There was some open gaming going on over there. And then as we take a look there, we've got a stage and some seating for events. All right, everybody setting up and getting ready for stuff to go for the World Series of Board Gaming. Alright, everybody getting ready to start their first games here. Everybody here registering and getting ready for their games, being assigned all of their tables and their pairings so they know exactly where to go. But yeah, all the fierce competition, they're gonna be making it happen up in here. Um, but yeah, everybody excited to get this event started off. Let's go. Alright, they're starting off the first tournament here still punching out all the stuff for terraforming mars everybody's getting ready to play in the first pairings of these they've paired all the different players up seeing who all they're gonna face off against everybody's in high spirits excited to start the event how's it going Aaron. Pleasure to meet you. Nice. I you all the time, of course. Awesome, man. Good luck. Hopefully, uh, you guys all do well. So, Thank be you. fun. Appreciate be fun. It. Great event. Hopefully, it has a great event. All around, everybody setting everything up. All right, here is the Dice Throne tournament that's going on. Going through and showing everybody all the stuff and how everything works. I can play all the different games. Dice Throne. All right, folks, we're taking a look here. Um, this is the middle of, uh, well, we're close to noon on day one. So Terraforming Mars has been going full blast. It's still going. Over here, we have, they're setting up for Gaia Project, a smaller tournament <laughs> because you gotta have some gumption to be involved in Gaia Project. But that's getting to be running over here. And then Terraforming Mars. I believe the first games are still going on with Terraforming Mars, but they're gonna be ending soon. So that would be round one of Terraforming Mars. And then the winner from each table will be going on to round two. Terraforming Mars will be going all day long, but several, many of these people who aren't gonna win then will go and just play in the open gaming area, which is being set up right now. 
So here we've got the library. This is the library that uh, Dice Tower West also has, and it's been brought in here to uh, be some open gaming at the World Series of Board Games here. So here we go, they're still prepping it up, getting everything uncovered. It's not the entire library, mind you. I believe that the Dice Tower West library has about 70 shelves, and they bring about 20 to this event. But still, as you can see, it's gonna be a whole lot of open gaming that can happen here besides, of course, the tournaments themselves. This here is gonna be the open gaming area. You can see a whole lot of tables over there. going be a little shopping going on. And then we've got the library over there still being prepped. And I wanted to show you as well, one of the game theory tables. Game theory being one of the sponsors here. We've got one of the tables right there with a nice insert in there. Nice and spongy, feels good. So there you go. This place is gonna be, I'm imagining, pre-packed with a lot of games in just a little bit. This will be the last time you see this empty, I'm sure. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> last time you see it empty, I'm sure. Lots of open gaming happening in here next to our exhibit hall. Is that too heavy? <laughs> right, we got a puzzle going on here. Oh. I'm already being helpful, as you can see. They say they hope it takes the whole week to finish. I give it one day, right? Uh, the white border might. Have some fun. Bring it in, Austin. Bring it in. Let's go, man. Listen, listen. Love the shirt. Love the shirt. Bring it in. Bring it in. Let's go. All right, everybody's Let's getting ready to come in for Azul. There you go. Here, look at that, Danny's man. Happy birthday, Danny. Happy oh, birthday, Danny. Got to give the, the people all the experience. Boom. Here we go. Everybody's getting ready for their Azul games, and they're all lining up, getting pairings for their tables. Um, and then we'll have to set everything up and make it happen. Everybody comes and they check out their names to see who's there, and they get assigned their tables. And then they will go over and start playing their games. And here you go, here is the Azul area. So just a bunch of copies of Azul Sealed here. And the way they'll do it is they'll have each table marked with the number on it. And then they'll have everybody's name and their seating arrangements. And then they have the game there that is sealed in shrink that they'll be punching out just specifically for this tournament. But yeah, everybody's gonna start doing that. We still have Terraform Mars going on over here, tons of people playing that. And everybody playing their Gaia Project stuff here. But Azul is going to start happening now. Dave, are you ready to compete? Yeah, they, they changed the name of the board. I don't know what's going it's on. It's spelled backwards. Yes, it's very weird. So how much prepping did you do to get ready for this? I mostly played uh, different games than Azul. I thought Azul, I already know. So you know Azul quite yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, well hopefully everything goes well. Hopefully everything goes good with the games. It'd be cool to see how the tournament comes out. Yeah, here's an important yeah. thing. When a horse hits the red line, I will say that. Tom like, teaching ready, set, bet. Two horses at the red Shocked line. I am. When the third horse hits the red line, no problem. You just put one there and the other is you discard? Exactly. Or? Yeah, just leave okay. one there and you can discard the other two. Got you, you have to. Much. You have to. Z giving winning tips over here. He just uh, lost the game, doesn't even know it. <laughs> so here we are learning spell book from Phil Walker Harding. We're getting crushed a little bit right there by this player right here. Gee, I wonder if they have anything to do with the publication of the game. Or maybe they played it a lot. They do. That's a clue. There we go. We're getting some, some goodies right there. They get stored in here. Then they get thrown back in the baggie. Okay, so I'll use my red again. Oh, you got red too? I've had it. <laughs> you haven't used it. No, no, no. I've been using it. <laughs> he's winning. He's winning. No, 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 no. The same thing with me. Is he winning? I'm not winning. I think he's winning. All right. I know I'm not winning. Shh, I might be winning. Look. 
right these are the four tables for the four finals today so the four finals today are going to be azul this is day one terraforming mars gaia project and Ra. so right now there are four gaia project games they're just starting there's one two and then there's two way over there terraforming mars is way back over in the corner and Ra is over there in the background and then right here we have four two-player azul matches and then the four winners of these will go to the final now, two-player Azul shouldn't take long, but it could, so we'll have to wait and see. We are seconds away from going live here. Camille and Z are about to commentate Azul. We are just about to go live. Chris and company all getting ready behind the scenes. Tons of work went into prepping all of the cords and wires everywhere. Bonacore is going to be sitting here also, but it's about to happen. Let's go. All right, about one day down on our puzzle here. Looks like we have all the logos done. But holy smokes, all that white. No, thank you. So it's almost 8 p.m. on the first day here. You see the vendor hall over here is closed up right now. And then we've got, well, our event sponsors there. Hey, look at that. Nice tower. And then we've got some open gaming happening with the library there in the back and folks just having some fun, playing some games. You got Crokinole up here, right there, Crokinole. Lots of other games happening. You can see uh, just a nice easy vibe over here. Over there in the corner where that screen is and the seats around it, that's where they are streaming the commentators as the finals are happening. In fact, I just wrapped that up right now. I was uh, with Camilla. We were uh, commentating on uh, the Azul final, and they were streaming that, obviously, out to our channel, but also on that screen, folks were watching it there. Absolutely. All right. Who do we got here? All right, here we got Scott Leader. He is our first champion here. Got his uh, a ring for Azul, right? Just, mm -hmm. just finished that up. Had the ring score. Pretty killer in the last round there, right? Last couple of rounds. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. Like, I've never seen that. You should go watch it again just to, like, figure, figure it out. It out. Yeah, like, exactly. How should I do that? How do I do that again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome, awesome. Congratulations. You have the first ring winner here. Yes. And, uh, Thank you. Thank you all. Yay! Have a good one. Yay! <laughs> Here we go, we're about to start a game show tonight with Chris running it right there, called Mall Night Long. You are joining tonight. Once you've found your seat, we will get you an official game show name tag, uh, and we'll get the festivities started soon. In about four minutes. Here's my name. You got anybody else? Can you yell out and see if anybody else? The crowd is ready. Let's make sure. Go ahead and have a seat, we'll take a side. Even if you're blogging, blogging, live streaming, twitching, Take a side. Switch on that side. Take a seat and have fun. I guess I'll be twitching on this side. Switch on that side. Getting set up here for Mall Night Long. John up there introducing, getting us all set up. And here we have a contestant, John's sister. Welcome to Mall Night Long. Thanks for coming, everybody. My name is Chris Pichot. I'm from Bangor, Maine. I literally neighbors with Pennywise the Clown. There's a tour van that stops outside of my house twice a day, every day. Tourists smile out, they take selfies with the sewer grate, and then they leave. And that's my icebreaker story. I also did a podcast a few years ago called Flip the Table. I don't know if any of you guys are here or listening to that. Hey, we got one. is a game show experience. What that means is we're gonna draw a magic circle around this space and we're gonna make you feel like you're sitting in the audience of a Hollywood game show, like a television yes. game show. We wanna get you pumped up, get you rowdy, and have a great time. But, like all games, there are rules, and I need to explain the rules of how things are gonna go tonight. 
it's also important that we're creating a magical game show experience. It's not actually a game show. This is a work of fiction, a work of taping, if you're a wrestling fan. What that means is, hey, yeah. All right. What that means is, I'm gonna be saying a lot of things up there like, I'm gonna be saying you're gonna win cash, you're gonna win prizes. I'm gonna make a lot of false promises to you <laughs> on this stage. But the important thing you need to understand, that's all part of the fiction of this experience. There are no prizes actually at stake tonight. Got it? Got it. Excellent. Yes, lower, lower, lower. So far, so good. In other rounds, you might have to guess a number, and you gotta shout numbers from the audience. So blue team, we'll start with you. 27. Five. 27 is a good guess. How many total expansions are there to the menu? Just shout. Or here, how many Rocky sequels are there? You're on camera hey, now. That's right. What are you doing? It's all good. You're getting photobombed, guys. Red team member, what's your name? What's your deal? to the information superhighway known as the internet. I don't know if you've heard of it, kind of a big deal. It's this sort of worldwide web of information that's woven together using links. And links is the name of this game. Let's go ahead and do one together just to teach you how this one is played. I'm gonna show you a list of three <laughs> That's a point. I'm gonna put one team in control. I'm hey. All right. hey. got a lot of open gaming going on right now. You can see over here. Fancy, cool looking game right there. Some shouting, some hollering. And then right here we've got Camilla playing a game. Playing a little bad company right there. 
and Tom is back there in the crowd somewhere. Here we've got the jigsaw puzzle being streamed. It's getting close, getting very close. So there's just basically a lot of white space at this point. Yeah, just whites. We're trying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't think I have the patience for this. <laughs> and then we'll move on to number seven. There you go. Nice. Oh, if you have at least one mech on this planet, or remove an infantry, ready the planet. If you have a mech, ready the planet. I'm that number one. Shut up and sit down. We're doing some stack rating. I'm not 100% sure. And Grant's with them. So, uh, this is going to be going on for the next hour or so. So it's Monday night. It's around 8.30 p.m. And we've got a lot of folks out here in the open gaming, having a good time, playing games. The championship for uh, Ticket to Ride just wrapped up, the ring championship. And those folks uh, have come out here and they're all playing. Well, I don't know if those folks specifically have come out here, but everybody else is out here, as you can see. We've got some giant versions of games over here. And of course, the library and people checking out games, as you can see right there. We've got a little teach you action here with some professionals. These are some professional teach you players. This is the the national teach you contest here. Is, is this for the ring? It is the outer ring for the cookie. cookie. Okay, got it. Well, good luck to all the participants. You had nothing on the board ten minutes ago, and now you're now you're back in. Okay. All right, so yeah, we got a little heavier gaming going on right here. Cuba Libre. Games for all players. We were, we were talking right here a little while ago about trying to get in a, a coin game, and indeed, it's been done. So there you go. Good luck, guys. Thank you. One interesting thing you'll notice around here in the open gaming is a lot of people playing the games that are up for the tournament. So we've got Wingspan over here. And then over here is a table set up with Dune, Imperium. They're playing Dune, Imperium over there, I believe. Maybe that's not that. But then we've got over here another table with Wingspan. We've got Cascadia over there. Dune, Imperium right here again. So again, yeah, certainly other games are being played, but a lot of the ones that are up for tournaments get played out here as people seek to just play them for fun or to get some practice in. I do believe we have stumbled into some blood. Blood on the clock tower! Yes! Peek behind the curtain. Ooh! How's it going? Pretty well. Yeah? Got everybody ready. There you go. Uh, not one trustworthy face in the whole lot of them. Look at that. Except maybe Dave Luza. Maybe. It's time to wrap up here on Monday night. Well, some of us, not this group. This is an epic TI4 game. They're going in hour eight, nine. Not stopping anytime soon. This is highly illegal, I'm guessing. It's not highly illegal. We're in Vegas, baby. We're in Vegas. We're in Vegas, baby. We're in Vegas. We're in Vegas. So don't he know? Don't he know Vegas? He don't know Vegas. Nothing. That guy right there, the guy with the with the hat, he looks shady. I don't trust that guy for a second. Which one? Which one? Uh -oh. right there. Which one? This one right here? Yeah, I got right there. Listen, I think he was bribed on the last one. He was bribed. He was bribed. People bribed on the last one. Okay. Three is supposed to win. Okay. Three. This is my final uh, retiring after this uh, session. Retiring. Until the cops retiring. catch you. Retiring? Well, 
There's so much abuse being done. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, 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 hey, hey, so, hey right somebody get that crybaby pee pants <laughs> shirt that he made. Right. 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 it over. All right, race number three, everybody. Here we go. Woo. For our dice tournament, I'd like to announce our third place winner, Regan. Regan! Commenting on tonight, commentating on with Paula. Who of them will be there? It's good to see they're using the pretty version. It'll be a little more interesting. All right, we're wrapping up the quarterfinals here for a choir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I will do is I will play ten. Games, Lots of hopeful but I will faces. Not the game over because I will not call it. Four of these people will be with me tonight for the finals. We're getting close. Place the one yellow marble to the side. Mix the other marbles together.
Watching. The vendor hall is all packed up as you can see. Not too many people left out here playing. The library does close in about two hours. And a couple games going on. Oh, it's the wrong ah, it's the wrong side. Okay, but he gets kinda of but it's, it's like I said, those sponsor cards, which gives an uh, extra building on these maps that reach semifinals that are being played right now. Here he is, Mr. Bonacor. Hey, thank you, Tom, Matthias. Great commentary on the live show. Uh, we have three other games being played here. It's probably been mentioned. It's Gaia Project, it's Ra, and Dune Imperium. All of these are semifinal games. Winner of each one of these, plus Ark Nova. 
goes to the finals. One thing I've really enjoyed about the World Series of Board Gaming here is just how much the players are getting along. You'll see some side conversations and just them enjoying playing the game together. They enjoy this higher level of competition here. What are these guys officially called? Like, what's the name for them? One thing I do love here is the friendly conversations that happen, even here at this higher level of competition, how the players are just here to have fun. It's really great to see. Obviously, they all want to win, but they're just enjoying playing the games at this higher level of competition with with other competitors. <laughs> Great to see. And there we have it. The library's all packed up. Good morning, guys. Almost. Last three games, it looks like here, but packed up and ready to go back. Plenty of people still playing games, though. Here we've got a few people watching the semifinal. Arc Nova is being played right now. We got Tom Vassell and the designer, Matthias Viga, who are commentating on the game. And a few folks out here watching, seeing what's going on. Getting that high level strategy. This is what's left. We'll walk through what's gonna happen. Uh, wingspan, Great Western Trail, <laughs> Password, uh, Wingspan, Great Western Trail, <laughs> Password, yeah. Ticket to Ride, Acquire, Sewell, Cascadia, Splendor, and Terraforming Mars. Now before we get started on that, I'll let you guys think about it because you're each going to pick one chip that you're going to veto from the game that, we, that will not be played in the final. It's the one chip. That, so you're going to put that into your right hand. Come forward. Don't open your hand up yet. Come forward. They're all vetoing one game for the final here. Mr. Vassal, you want to come down here? Put your right hands out. Turn them up. Open them up. We have vetoed Terraforming Mars. We have vetoed Wingspan. You want to guess that? We have vetoed another Wingspan. And I'm guessing that's Great Western Trail. Great Western Trail, Wingspan, Wingspan, and Terraforming Mars. I think there was some defensive, this defense, not, not that they didn't know how to play it, that they did some defensive moves on that. All right, here we go. You can see we have an empty room. That's because we have made it to the finals. We're playing Splendor here for the ultimate win. We have quite a crowd this time watching the finals. And you just saw inside where they're playing. I mean, all these players are fantastic players. The level of competition. High level, high level board game players. So we have another uh, reserve for Scott over there. It's a cottage reserve. Finals players are kicking. But I mean, seven grounds is an intentional amount of work there. It's starving the pools, working towards his own card buy. Do you think it's that blue over there he has in reserve? Very possibly for a cost of seven. I mean, the, the, the mid-tier cards, I don't know if it's on there perfectly. I believe the highest we've seen in mid-tier was is six for a currency.
That's it, folks. That's our trip to World Series of Board Gaming Vegas 2023. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great time. We had a great time. Remember, we did all kinds of live videos from it. Really high level play. Go back and watch them. Anyway, until next time, I'm Tom Vessel, and you've been watching the Dice Tower.